Oh, Alex, listen. No, I hear you. There's no doubt, ma'am, that manifestation of evil is upon us. And there's no doubt that the evil believes is taking over right now. And your words are powerful, Amy. God bless you. Thank you. I'm going to come back and go to Corey, Doug, Anvids, uh, Dominique, and others. Mike in Colorado and others. Straight ahead. Final segment straight ahead. We are launch. Final segment back tomorrow, Lord willing, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central for the weekday transmission. Thank you for joining us. I want to jam in five or six phone calls here at the end. I'm not trying to gloom and doom you folks. I'm just trying to be honest about how much trouble we're in. I was just talking to one of the crew members, Richard, earlier when I was bad-mouthing cats. I love cats. Cats are cute. Cats are funny. Cats are, cats are neat. They're not honorable like a dog that would die for you. If a cat weighed as much as you, it would try to eat you and kill you. There's a new study out, Your Cat Doesn't Love You, Science Shows, National Post. And the globalists are like that. They think it's cool. They don't care about anybody. We built a civilization via honor. Corruption held us back. So I want the age of the dog to be upon us, not the age of the cat. I want to transcend the feline instincts and move on to what's real. The heart of a dog is ten times out of a cat. That's why they got dogs that can kill lions that weigh three times more. I want to be dog-like in my devotion to humanity, committed, honorable, almost stupid in my will to not sell out because it's the crafty feline mind that goes along with submitting to evil. And I don't mean to demonize cats. They're incredibly honorable compared to the globalist, but the allegory still holds true, and the science holds true. Who's the caller from South Carolina? Anna Levitz. I'm sorry I butchered your name earlier. Welcome to the airwaves. Thank you for holding. All right, that's Mordecai Anna Levitt. You might want to Google that name. Anyway, Alex, what I want you really want to talk about is um, what's going on in uh, your mainstream talk radio. Uh, I, ch I, I personally try every once in a while to get through and quote you and quote um, and quote a lot of stuff I find on the internet and talk about the Bilderberg and stuff like that. And these people won't even, you know, they'll, they'll hang up the phone and say, I Yeah, I mean, I remember Limbaugh 20 years ago said the CFR didn't exist. Then he said it didn't have power. No, but now the Pope calls for world government. I mean, where are they now? They, they're, you know, they, they won't even talk about it. What I would suggest, uh, callers, call up your various talk show hosts. That way, these are false prophets. And by the way, one of the worst is Glenn Beck. This man badmouths people like you, and yet... This guy pretends he's some kind of a holy man or prophet, and he won't go into if, if he won't talk about, for instance, Sandy Hook. He won't talk about Boston. He won't talk about any of that stuff. He'll basically say, you know, oh, we got to get together in March and this and that, like he's some kind of a, uh, a new Martin Luther King or something. But really, the man's a total phony. And so, and I find most of your talk show hosts are. Well, that's because they get called in rooms and offered the world if they sell out. And I don't want to sit there and judge Glenn Beck. He said things about me that aren't true, but he does a lot of good as well. <laughs> I just think the average person gets so scared when they get close to this. But God bless you. I appreciate your call. I just don't want to judge people. I mean, I know that Nancy Pelosi and Hillary Clinton are evil. I know Al Gore is evil. I know... Barack Obama's evil, I know John Boehner's evil, I know Michael Moore's evil, and I'm just going to expose them. Beck does a lot of good, and I just forgive him, because life's so short. And I hope that uh, he uses the platform he has to fight the tyranny of the New World Order. And uh, that's all I can hope for in any of these people, because it's all just an illusion. Let's go to Corey in Florida. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, what's up, Mr. Alex Jones? Welcome, brother. First time caller. Um, what do you predict Obama is going to do about the ongoing crash? And also, what's your take about the um, Pope demanding countries in the U.S. to take in thousands of immigrants while saying... It's millions. It's millions. Them? It sets yeah, okay. the precedent that it's our job to pay for everybody when they use them as a political class to bring in socialism because they're addicted to government money from the beginning. It's, it's a military cultural assault on the West to bring us down, and the Pope uh, is now a prime agent coming to lecture Congress and, and six other cities 
in the United States on world government. I talked about it. We have the head of the Chinese Central Bank saying, quote, the, says the bubble has burst, world depression's here, right as the Pope announces, you better let the imploding third world in when he's pushing eugenics and carbon tax policies that will bankrupt the third world and make billions die. They're going to come here. I mean, it's not just that I look at him and say, oh, you have an armored palace above the law. You say, I got to pay for illegals. It's not that. I love these people. It's that he's using them as a human wave weapon against us. It's pure diabolic, and it's happening at a key point right now. Also, what's this about him only get to choose two families to get into that again? I mean, he's asking all the country to do millions. The Vatican has trillions of dollars. The Vatican's above the law. The Vatican's incredibly greedy. I mean, inside St. Peter's Basilica, it looks like a nightmare Las Vegas whorehouse. I mean, I've been there. It is the spirit in there, whether it was like that before or after, I had to get out of there. Uh, family I was with was like almost vomiting. It was like being like fly. I mean, it was like being in a poltergeist movie. Uh, and I'm telling you, it's bad news. I mean, that's, that's, I've never been some basher of things, but this pope is an open demon. And as far as I'm concerned, he should crawl right back to hell where he came from. I mean, I'll just be honest with you. All right, let's move on now. Doug in Tennessee, you're on the air. Go ahead. Christian, brotherly love to you, my friend. I, I uh, buy all the products pretty much from InfoWars Life, and I love them all. Well, thank you, brother. You're helping fund this operation. Thank you. I'm calling to wake you up about what's really going on with geoengineering, and I appreciate that you do talk about it, and that you always say it's classified, which it is, officially. Well, I mean, they admit all the secret programs and the, and the, and the atmosphere modification, but then they go, but details are classified. But, I mean, they admit it's going on. I've been researching it for years, and I've dedicated my life to making people aware of what's going on in the direness of the situation. Well, it's a perfect know. allegory to how there's this whole shadow government changing the food, the water, the air, and everybody calls in and goes, it's like it's aliens. Yeah, it's demons. I mean, whatever you want to call it, we're in deep trouble. This planet is being screwed over, and it's being built to not house us, but being built for something else, a bunch of elites merging with AI machines. Yeah, research is showing that the reason that now that the globalists are doub doubling down and they're going for broke is that the climate is unraveling and they know it and they're hiding possible moment. People in the U.S., especially the eastern half of the country, the most populated area of the U.S., is, they're purposely being fooled and being kept asleep by the geoengineers. Oh, I know. I know, brother. Do a YouTube video on it. Speak out. Expose it. I want to grab in two more, Dominique and Mike, for you in the broadcast. Go ahead, Dominique, in Fox Lake area where the cop got executed. Go ahead. You're on the air. Good afternoon, brother. Welcome. Alex, I just want to let you know I am from the region area of Auschwitz. Auschwitz of Poland, where Germans murdered not only Polish people, but Jewish people and everybody else that they could kill. People do not understand what it means to have FEMA camps in their neighborhood. What is coming is basically a picture that they should Google or witness in their own eyes to see what people are capable of. Because if you don't see it, you don't believe in it. And what is happening is exactly what you're saying. That's right. There's massive preparations for classical tyranny. There's world financial collapse by design. I just want to try to stop it. I don't have all the answers. I just want people better be concerned. And then if we stop it, we'll be blamed. Oh, it didn't happen. Well, thank God. I'm ready to be blamed that it didn't happen. I want to try to stop it. How do we stop it? I'll tell you. We stop it the way you're doing it. I came here five days ago. I listened to you in Poland, and you do have a lot of listeners all over the Europe. The picture that you show us, it basically show us the camps that we already had, which is history now that people forgot about it. No, not everybody, not Europeans, not people, family that we lost our brothers and sisters. You've been through it. So, You've been through it. Yeah, the Nazis and the Russians too killed over 10 million Poles. I'm out of time. I'm sorry to Dominique and others. Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow at 11 a.m. Central, 12 noon Eastern for the weekday transmission. Great job, the crew. Look, history's happening now. Epic evil is being turned loose. Good has to rise against it. 
bowing to it doesn't protect you. It will destroy you. Choose sides now wisely. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness, masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism, it seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition, controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of Infowars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th, through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this. But it's an important part to ensure with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth exposing globalism and dehumanization operating so join us this september 16th and 17th for what i believe will be the final money bomb that infowars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening because as mahatma gandhi famously said First, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We are in that process of being massively attacked. And in the face, we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. History is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And InfoWars, which you the viewers and listeners and activists stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the InfoWar. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. And I guarantee you, 
George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew,